highest. And you can look it up in your friendly Webster's Dictionary or Collegiate Dictionary. And you will find, as you read the definition of the word exegesis, that at the end it says, critical analysis of a word, especially of the Bible. <clears throat> this is in a secular dictionary. I think God has a sense of humor. For him to inspire those that assemble these dictionaries and to include at the very end of the word definition of the word exegesis, say what? Critical analysis of the word, especially of the Bible. Rule number two is hermeneutics. H-E-R-M-E-N-E-U-T-I-C-S. What does that mean? Right out of the dictionary. The study of theology. How do you like that? What does theology mean? There's two words. Theo is for God and ology is for study. Study God. The study of theology dealing with the principles of exegesis. How do you like that? So you want to understand God's word because you feel that it's inspired or credible. Then all you need to do is what? You need a concordance. And as God impresses you about the significance of certain words, if you look them up, the definition is right there. Now, it would be absurd to think that Paul's understanding of the scripture was gained without study. If you don't apply these principles that we've talked about just now in your own personal study, you will not move out of the area that Paul found himself in most of his life. The only way to understand and appreciate what Paul is writing about in all of his letters is to understand the meaning of these words. The seeming scales that fell off of Saul's, at that time Saul's eyes, when Ananias came and told him that he had come in the name of the Lord to bring back his son, indicates that this shining of the Holy Spirit began right there, as this physical scales are removed, and in so doing, it also removes the effect or the influence that the traditions of the fathers had had on Saul all of his life when he thought he was serving God. I cannot urge you enough. Don't you dare accept anything that anyone says or writes, beginning with me. The reason that I preference all these things is so that you will look them up for yourself and let the Holy Spirit convict your heart. If we do not do that, we will fall into the same trap that the Galatians fell into. Let's have prayer. Loving Father,